Hello guys, welcome back to the Hard Disney Info channel. In today's video, I'm going to tell you the first thing to do after the setup of your brand new Vivo X300 Pro. So, at first, we have to do the setup. So, let's see after the setup. Now, as I can see, we do have our phone set up. And the first thing I do recommend doing is going into the settings and tapping Wi-Fi, pardon me, not this one, Wi-Fi over here. Now, enable this option, and here, tap your preferred network. So for me, it's this one, this is in my home, and what we have to do now is to enter our password to our, to our network. If you don't know the password to your network, you have to check the sticker which is placed on your um, Wi-Fi ruler when you, where you have placed it. Now, as you can see, we are connected to our Wi-Fi network, and now we do have access to the internet. If you don't really uh, want to insert your SIM card now, or you don't have it yet, uh, we have Wi-Fi, and we have the access to the internet right now. Uh, without Wi-Fi, we won't have the access to anything, actually. What I do recommend doing now is going back and scrolling down straight to the users and accounts. Here, tap Add Account, and now tap Google. As you could see, there were plenty of the accounts to add. Up to your prefer it's up to your, up to your own preferences, but the key is Google. Now enter your email. And actually, a quick tip from me to you is that you don't really have to t type at gmail.com. You can only type the first part of it. If we go uh, further, as you can see, you do have here at gmail.com now we have to as you can see we have been kicked out of it so what is this all right again next and now we have to do the captcha verification after the process of and inserting our email. As you can see, now we don't have to do the CAPTCHA, I don't know why. And here we have to enter your password to your own account. Let's, let me do this. After this process, as you can see, we have who will be using this device. I will be using this device, or my child will be using this device. I will select I will be using this device, but when you select my child will be using this device, we will have to install Family Link on this phone and uh, supervise this phone. So let's Tap the first option, then next. Here, tap I agree. And now, Google services. We have to set up all the Google things because it's our most important things in our phone. Enable backup because I do recommend it. And now, go and tap accept. Now, as I can see, we have our Google account added. What I do recommend doing right now is going straight into the Play Store, which is over here by default on the main screen and tap it. Tap get started and here we have to set up the verification of our purchases. We can tap use password over here. Now we have to set our password to our phone. I mean set. We have to uh, insert here or use biometrics but as you can see we don't have our biometrics on our device. We'll do it in a moment. At first let me insert my password. Now, as I can see, we have to tap no thanks. I mean, it's up to your preference, but I will tap no thanks. And now tap your profile picture at the top right corner. Here, tap my apps and games. And as I can see here, we do have 30 free updates pending. Tap see details. And here are all the applications that are necessary to update on your phone. These are there, these default ones, for example, like uh, vivo.com. Um, speech recognition, phone by Google, etc. Or the additional ones like TikTok, YouTube, Timo, Spotify, Netflix, etc. Tap update all. And now this update will be uh, in pending and do in the background. Which is very, very nice. Because now we have to move to the next thing, which is the screen lock. Here, go to the settings. And now you have to go straight to the home screen, lock screen and wallpaper 
Pardon me, it doesn't, this was not here, pardon me. Security and privacy. And now go straight to the device unlocking. Now, as I can see, we have two things, three actually. Screen lock, which is not set by the, here by default. You can tap it. And here we do have five options. None, swipe, pattern, pin, and strong password. Strong password is that we can enter, as you can see, letters, numbers, and space. And must be at least four digits. And apart from we can select auto confirm by unlock. So we, don't, we wouldn't have to click OK to submit the password. This is the first option. The second option here is PIN code. PIN code is just a passcode. We can enter only numbers and uh, four digits or six digits. We can set the auto confirm to unlock and enter the PIN. Apart from that, here, as you can see, we have something called pattern, which is, as you can see, pattern. And we can just use the uh, preferred symbol here or something we have now, which is swipe. Swipe, as you can see, is, is that when we lock our phone, we can just swipe to unlock. Here we do have something called none. If you tap none, you'll see that we do have only home screen without the lock screen at all. So to set any, as you can see, screen lock on your phone, tap screen lock and tap your preferred lock. I will set the pattern. So set pattern, tap next and pattern. This is not correct, wait a moment. And here, okay. Now, as you can see, our screen lock is set successfully. This is about the screen lock. But what about the biometrics? We have fingerprint and face. Let's add fingerprint. Here we have to add the lock screen password, I mean enter. And now we can set what we want to use our fingerprint for. Unlock and privacy password. But firstly, let's add the fingerprint. Fingerprint is here and uh, you can use every single finger that you want to unlock your phone. Preferably it's this one because when you hold your phone like this, you have your phone here. What to do now? Tap enroll now, got it, and put your finger on the sensor and move around. Here as I can see we do have the process percentage, maybe not percentage, but this is a visual symbol of how much we have done our fingerprint. And we have to scan our whole finger. Now, as I can see, we do have success. We can tap OK. <clears throat> and now we can manage our fingerprint uh, preferences, but not, that's not for that. Here we do have something called face. And now we have to enter our symbol. And how does it work? We do have only camera, so it works only about algorithm and uh, faces, but it's not as safe on as on the iPhones. So we can just put a recording and it will probably unlock your phone. So I don't really recommend doing face, but this is as you can see very useful because if we tap other face and roll now, we can just put our face in the circle, don't move, and now we'll have our um, on our our face scanned. And now we can open our phone using our face. Here, as I can see, we have something called stay on lock screen after unlocking. So when we scan our face, we can either go to the home screen automatically when this option is disabled, or stay on the lock screen when it's enabled. We can tap OK. And let me just increase the brightness of my phone slightly so that they can see everything better. And now we can move to the next step, um, which is, in a moment, battery. Let's move here and scroll down to the battery. It's here. <clears throat> As I can see, we do have three modes of the battery. Battery saver, balanced, which is default, and boost mode. Boost mode boosts your performance, battery saver saves your battery, and balanced is, of course, balanced. Apart from that, we do have yet a super battery saver, and as I can see, if we enable that, we can see, pardon me, not here. If we enable that and tap agree, we'll have everything disabled and only system services enabled. Uh, it's very useful when you are, for example, in the forest or a long way from home 
and you want to go to this home where with your phone turned on <coughs> or you just want to use their flashlight <laughs> and to disable this mode tap this button over here and tap ok here as i can see we have apart from that plenty of settings to enable for example power saving management here what i do recommend is to have all these, these or all, all these four options enabled by default battery saver auto turn off shorten auto load screen time reduce screen refresh rate uh, and also turn on dark mode what this is the this option we need to have our battery saver enabled here they have bar battery usage stati uh, status battery health and charging but this is out to your own preferences these are the most important things that i've told you to enable and disable Apart from that, here, if you go to the RAM and storage, we can see something called Space Cleanup. This is a quick tip of your phone. I do, uh, I do recommend doing this, maybe not every day, but after a week of using your phone. Just tap Space Cleanup and now tap Agree to the iManager. Agree. And now your storage will be cleared. I mean the cache, uh, use less cache, etc, etc. Clean up all and you will be done. As you can see, uh, we didn't then use any application, which is the uh, third party application, and we had some megabytes here. Apart from that, we have something called RAM Booster. It's here. If we tap RAM Booster over here, we can see that we have something called Extended RAM. The extended RAM is an option which uses your storage, actually in your phone, but that, that doesn't really matter. Uh, and it extends our RAM. Uh, random access memory in our phone up to 16 gigabytes using some storage we can either disable that and restart our phone or have it enabled it's enabled by default but if you want to have more storage and nice optimization and nice performance have it disabled but if you want to have super performance super high amount of ram and don't have don't care about the storage you can have it enabled now we can go back go back and go to the Play Store back again here as I can see we don't have any updates of the application so that's nice that it's done what I do recommend doing now is going to search search and type wallet we have to set up the Google Pay here as I can see we have Google Wallet we can tap install button here and Google Wallet will be installed in a moment now tap open and now choose an account to use with Google Pay. Tap View Wallet. <coughs> Tap Allow or Not Allow. It's up to you. And now, as you can see, we can add our own payment method. Uh, I usually, this is a, as you can see, credit card or debit card to our uh, phone. Then we can just use our NFC tag, which is somewhere here, as I remember, and pay uh, with our phone. Uh, contactless something like this and the on the iPhones it's called Apple Pay here they have something called Google Pay which is the Google Wallet and we can as you can see add the loyalty cards here we can add our um, payment cards as I can see they have everything here IKEA Interspot Poland even Biedronka Polish shop and up uh, as the final step what i do recommend is going straight into set these settings and scrolling down to the system update here as i can see we have latest version of the os but what you don't know is that in this phone we do have a lot of updates and a lot of years of updates so what i do recommend is to updating your phone always with the latest version not only about uh, not uh, not only is about about performance, but about the safety, about the latest features. Because now, Vivo releases the updates that are very nice, very clear, and optimizes your phone even better than it was uh, it, it was uh, in the previous updates. And the, I do recommend to have always the latest update. It's not, as I said, it's not it's not only about the performance; it's mainly about the safety. Here, if you tap this two, two dots in the top right corner, you can tap Upgrade Update Settings. Here, as you can see, we have something called Smart Upgrade. <coughs> Automatically download new versions over Wi-Fi. I'll install them between 1 o'clock 
a.m. and 5 o'clock a.m. at night when your device is ill. Enable this option because then you don't really have to care about that. Just you, you, the only thing you have to do is to care about the uh, charging your phone at night. And actually, that's it about the updates. And actually, that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel and leave a like under our video. It's very important to us to have your feedback. So if you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and leave your opinion in the comment section down below. And as I said at final, that's it. Hope it helps you and goodbye.